Hey guys, Trinity here with Saner Survival, and today I'm going to be doing a little knife testing. So I was very fortunate, fortunate enough I guess, to be able to test the WCSK and the AEBL. So before I get started, I do kind of want to give a little background to what this video is going to uh, predominantly be tested on. Um, pretty much comfort. Um, and a woman's perspective of the knife. Um, it's a very large knife. Um, and I've handled the SK in the 01 tool steel before. Um, and it's it's a little on the heavy side uh, for me. So really interested to kind of um, cut up some tomatoes with it, kind of do a little bit of kitchen prep, um, as well as do some feather sticks. And then I am also going to uh, strike it with a ferro rod. Since the AEBL is actually a stainless steel, um, a lot of people think that it doesn't throw as good of a spark. Um, so I definitely want to include that in my video. So um, stay with me guys, we'll get ready and cut up some tomatoes. So thanks. Alrighty guys, so as you can see here, um, I do have some tomatoes here that I'm going to try to, uh, to slice up. Now keep in mind this is a pretty big knife, but I just want to be able to show you guys that this knife is plenty sharp enough to do your kitchen kitchen tasks here. So now, like I said, this is the AEBL stainless steel. And these tomatoes are actually, they're almost too ripe. Um, I was going to throw them out, um, but I thought, you know what, I have a, a knife demo to do. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and see here. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're just going through like butter. I mean, just, just crazy. Um, see if I can get one pretty thin here. Yeah, I mean, getting a little sliver. So, and they're just, <clears throat> it's a great cutter. I mean, it's, there's zero resistance on that blade. None. So, now, I'm using more this part of the blade. Um do want to go ahead and try to use this section just to kind of see how it does. So kind of move that stuff out of the way. And uh, let's go ahead and try to cut her this way. I feel like this would be, oh yeah, that's the potato peeling right there. That's, yeah. Just kind of peeling that outer layer off of the skin of the tomato. Kind of show you here. Uh, my initial thoughts <clears throat> on the knife, um, like I said in the intro of this video, I've, I've handled the WCSK in the 01 tool steel, and I found it to be a little heavy for just my personal preference and um, just kind of everyday use, but this knife is, now granted it's big, but it's not near as heavy. So it, in, in my opinion, that makes it more practical just for my personal use. Um, now, there are people out there that I know that, you know, they love the O1 tool steel, and it's plenty, plenty light enough for them to use. Um, my personal preference is the the AEBL here because it does make so it makes it so light. Now, in terms of the actual stainless steel. It, this AEBL doesn't behave like a typical stainless, so it actually sharpens up really, really nicely. Just crazy what this knife can actually do, and I'm just pretty much using this back portion here. I'm using the back here, like I said, this, this section here. Um, the tip, um, let's go ahead and try to do that. Try to get some space here so you guys can see. We'll go 
go to this piece here. And I'm going to be using this, this tip here. Oh yeah. Now there are other videos out there um, <clears throat> of people gutting uh, and processing a deer with the WCSK in AEBL. Um, I believe Pano at the North Woodsman Elite uh, YouTube channel does that. He does a really nice job. Like I said, this this testing that I'm doing here, it's it's more of a woman's perspective and it's more of a, a small framed person's uh, point of view on the SK. So if you want to see this knife used and abused, there are definitely videos out there. But for, like I said, this this video, it's all about kind of those fine kitchen prep stuff, doing some feather sticks, and starting a little fire. So I think without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and let's do some feather sticking and kind of get to the fire making side of things. Hang with me, guys. Alrighty, guys, so back to the feather sticking. Now, I'm going to do things a little differently. <clears throat> it's been raining here for about two days straight, so everything's really wet. And so I think I'm just going to get the feather stick um, just to kind of show you guys. And then I'm going to go ahead and start a fire with some tinder that I had on hand. So let's go ahead here and give her a shot. Now this is actually the first time that I've used the SK for these. So you're actually kind of seeing me work through the learning curve. Um, and there is a learning curve as you can see. I kind of <clears throat> kind of keep shaving off my curls, but let's see here. Let's get back a little bit so you guys can see. And it is windy here, I apologize. So, but it's actually making really good, I call them loop-de-loops. Um, I mean, it's, and it's sharp. Kind of, kind of see there. So, and that was using this section. So, we're going to move up. I'm going to use more of this section here. So, a little bit different there, um, kind of puts my wrist in a, at an angle, as you can see there. Um, this way gives me a little bit more leverage, um, and I think a lot of that just has to do with um, my hand strength and my forearm strength. <clears throat> I know Dan Lutz, he, he's a pro, um, but he's a monster. <laughs> uh, and he can just, he's got the arm strength, whereas I don't. So now I can do a push cut there, a power cut, and that's comfortable. That's really comfortable. And I'm kind of digging more into the wood there. Now this tooth on here is actually great for carving out little notches for spoons. Now what I mean by the tooth is right here. That's what we're calling the, the tooth, if you will. So, and even, that one's a little different, a little difficult. And keep in mind guys, this is actually my first time using the WCSK. I'm used to running smaller knives, but so far I'm really, really impressed. Um, it's not awkward, so let's let's really get cranking here. Oh, scoot back here a little bit, that way you guys can see. There's a knot there. I'm just kind of rotating the stick. Alright guys, so kind of have my my tender already as you can see. Now I am kind of cheating. Um, I do need to burn some cardboard today. So I've kind of laid that down. 
because this stuff is, is soaking wet. So, get my ferro rod ready and we're going to see how well that the WCSK in the AEBL throws a spark off of a ferro rod. So, let's kind of... Here we go. isn't quite good here. There we go. Yeah, throws a heck of a spark. Lots of smoke. Like I said, things are pretty, pretty wet here. But, we'll get her done. So, And what I'm actually doing now is I'm taking pieces of this cardboard and cutting them up to stick on my fire. Like I said, this isn't a sustainable fire. This isn't meant to keep me alive or anything like that. It's just getting rid of some, some garbage. But as you can see, it just slices right through there. Just... And I'm not pushing hard at all. I mean, it's it's like butter. So really, really impressed with the WCSK in AEBL, especially for the size. Let's, let's go straight down with it and see how it does. Wow. All right, guys. So. My final thoughts on the WCSK in AEBL is it's a great knife. The size, not an issue for me um, anymore at least. It's a comfortable knife. Um, like I said, it's not, it's not unwieldy. Um, it's very comfortable in the hand. I think a lot of that has to do with the actual handle that William puts on all of his knives. His knives ha knife handles are always really comfortable, but it's not heavy. And I think that is a big, big selling point for me at least, is it's light enough to where I feel like it's actually shorter than what it is. And weight actually for me, um, it makes things either unwieldy or manageable. And this this knife, the WCSK in AEBL, is very manageable for me. So overall, from a woman's perspective, a small person, small framed person's perspective, there's never been a better time to get the WCSK. If you've been holding out, eh, you know, I'm not sure, it's big, it's, you know, it looks heavy, now's the time because the AEBL it's number one, it's a stainless, so you won't really have to maintain it as much as you would a carbon steel. Um, as y'all know, carbon steel, you have to oil it, otherwise it'll rust um, or stain, uh, stainless. Um, like I said, maintenance-free. The AEBL actually behaves more like a, like a carbon, if you will. It sharpens up really nicely, so it's... It's a fun knife. Um, like I said, the WCSK in AEBL, it's a great option. Like I said, if you've been holding off on, on getting a, a WCSK, now's, now's the time. Especially this AEBL, it's crazy. Like I said in the beginning of this video, there are, are idiot videos of people abusing this knife. Um, I believe William put this knife through a cinder block, just like the original uh, WCSK in 01. So, now's the time, guys. So, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, as always, y'all stay blessed. I'm Trinity with Saner Survival. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Thanks.